l'extérieur qu'à l'intérieur. Je vais m'habituer euh, au son. Alors bonjour, je suis Pascal Chassé, directrice des communications du Musée des Beaux-Arts de Montréal. Alors, euh, bon après-midi. Merci d'être là. Alors, euh, aujourd'hui, on est un peu euh, nerveux. Euh, C'est toute une expérience euh, que nous allons vivre, une première euh, au Musée des Beaux-Arts de Montréal, même euh, à Montréal, je dirais. <rire> Alors, on va dévoiler, alors vous voyez déjà le mât tétomique de l'artiste Charles Joseph que nous allons voir dans quelques minutes. Alors, cette œuvre exceptionnelle fera partie du parcours du bala de la Balade pour la paix, un musée à ciel ouvert qui sera présenté ici sur la rue Sherbrooke, à partir d'ici, la rue Bishop, jusque dans le quartier du, euh, de l'Université McGill et du euh, musée McCord. En fait, un parcours de 1 km de long, où on aura 72 œuvres d'art, sculptures, photographies et drapeaux. Alors, j'aimerais vous présenter Michael Lakers, qui est un grand ami, frère de l'artiste euh, Charles David. Et euh, Charles Joseph, sorry, euh, pardon. Et euh, Mike Lakers va animer euh, la cérémonie. Je vais le faire en anglais et je vais euh, essayer du mieux que je peux euh, de vous transmettre euh, le tout euh, en français. Alors, euh, bon dévoilement. Ça y est, go. C'est un go. Gela Kasla, Wixas. Gela Kasla, Hamatsa. Gela Kasla, Amsolaga. Today is an amazing historical opportunity for Canadians to witness a very old tradition called the Permission Ceremony, one where as we traveled across this country, before we entered into somebody's traditional territory, we asked permission to be there safely or to pass through. In this case, my brother and his family have carved an amazing story relating to his experience through residential school that you see behind me called the totem pole. In order to have that pole raised here in the traditional territory of the Mohawk people, we need to ask permission, and this is what this ceremony is about, to present to the community, to Canada as a whole, the traditions that our people have done for thousands and thousands of years in a good way. So I ask your patience, those that are here, to witness things that you will never see outside of a big house on the west coast. The blessing of the totem pole to some of the traditional songs and dances are not shared outside of those long houses or big houses on the west coast, but they will be here for the benefit of our chiefs, our traditional uh, people and our elders, and you as citizens of the city. So in our language, Niao Angoa, Great thanks, I think, for the opportunity to be here. I'm going to ask my brother Boone to come forward and start off the ceremony by blessing the totem pole. Earlier in the day, all of us, including members of the family, gathered together in a cleansing ceremony to wipe off any of the stuff on us as we traveled to this place. Some people will call it a smudge, some people will call it a cleansing and a marking of their face with ochre. So that what they do from this day on, through the day, is presented in front of the Creator in a good way. No mistakes happen, that the information is passed back to our chiefs back in the Quagga territory on the west coast, and presented in a very good way. Good You'll see the people with the rattles, make sure you don't get too close to them. They're the people that are intending you to keep you away. I'll be there. 
around it and the people surrounding it is the Hamas's greatest gift to the people, the ability to share the wealth and the safety of the eagle. The story in the poll asked my brother Boone to come here. Boone. The land in this area is now blessed. The permission is now requested from the Hamitsas. Nagi, <laughs> Nagi what I said is uh, the other day when I knew I was coming, I sat down with one with our bent, one of our Bear Clan chiefs. He sits with a title that's over a thousand years old. And I asked him if it was if I should come. And he said yes. Go and do these things, because when another nation comes into your land, you need to acknowledge that. This is the way of nations, and we always need to remind yourselves of that. We need to keep doing these things, because it's so easy to forget. And so, that's the spirit of the words that we bring here at this time. And now what we do is we speak for the words of our ancestors. And we acknowledge you, my cousin, and our cousins, and our brothers, 
for the great work that you have done and the mind that you bring forth and the tears you have shed and the pain that you have gone through to, to achieve this great goal. And so we acknowledge this work that you have done. And we talk to the spirit of this poor because we know between us it's not just a piece of wood. There is a life here. There is a spirit here. And there is a thousands of year old mind here. And we ask the spirit to be at peace and to share its power and to help our people. Not just our people, but all the ones around us to heal. There's great work that needs to be done in this land so that we can be at peace. So now what you want to Uh, welcome to everybody that's here today. I have a bit of a, a cold, so I hope you'll bear with me. Uh, we welcome our brothers from the West Coast who come to us, who bring with them a symbol of peace, strength, and unity. Uh, for thousands of years, we have been brothers and we have traveled back and forth across this great land to talk to each other and to provide each other with the kind of understanding that we needed. And when the Europeans arrived, uh, that, that, that did not prevent us from continuing that. And that still continues on to this day. To the rest that are here, who come from all different kinds of languages and cultures from all parts of the world, we also welcome you to Mohawk territory and the great city of Montreal, one of our, one of our most prosperous suburbs, as we like to say. Uh, to his honor the mayor, whom we've we've known each other for many, many years, from his days as a as a parliamentarian, a minister in the in the government of Canada. And we shared many many moments together in terms of uh, trying to establish relations, trying to work towards a better Canada, work to better relationships between uh, the indigenous people in this country. So again, thank you uh, for being here on this very, very important, historic, spiritual, cultural day, because that's what it's all about. So as I'm, I'm originally from Upper Mohawk from the Six Nations of the Grand River and you have no idea how unbelievably honorable this moment is. I was formally adopted into the killer whale clan of the Quaggit people many, many years ago and my brother Boone and the hereditary chiefs there asked me to come back here and invite uh, have a conversation with the Mohawk chiefs if we were able to be here on a friendly basis. So from two of my communities, the West Coast and here in uh, Haudenosaunee territory, that I'm at my greatest peace. I can tell you that right now. And in order to do that, one of the greatest gifts the hereditary chiefs on the West Coast would do is every time a chief speaks or the chiefs of the community speak, the gifts get bestowed. And so the community and the family were up late last night carving and doing some gifts, and we'd like to pass that on to all of the chiefs. So before we start anything, we'll pass the gifts on.
prochain extrême ici, pendant qu'on remet les cadeaux au nom du euh, Musée des Beaux-Arts de Montréal et des célébrations du 375e anniversaire de Montréal. Invitez euh, M. Euh, Michel de la Chelonnière, qui représente le conseil d'administration du musée euh, cet après-midi et qui est aussi notre grand mécène euh, en éducation, et le maire euh, Denis Coderre euh, à remettre aussi des cadeaux euh, aux chefs euh, des, deux, euh, des deux communautés. Euh, J'invite euh, Michel de la Chelonnière euh, qui va vous dire quelques mots et vous expliquer euh, le cadeau qui est offert actuellement euh, au chef des Nations. Avec les cadeaux, on remet aussi du tabac sacré en goué. Le tabac est une plante médicinale qui, dans la tradition autochtone, est remise en guise de remerciement. Ce tabac est offert aux chefs, aux représentants des maisons longues, ainsi qu'à nos invités de la nation. Pour souligner cet échange et les remercier.